Hello, welcome. It's in with the computer guy. And uh, remember previously in our lesson, we are still talking about the meaning of ICT and I left you with a trial. So let me hope that you did this one for me. So you welcome to our lesson number five. And we actually be we are going to be actually talking about the common ICT tools. The tools we actually use in our day-to-day -day life, but related to ICT. So they are telling us that at the beginning of this chapter, you learned about the meaning of ICT. When we talk about ICT tools, we are referring to devices or objects used in ICT. For example, we can talk of a computer, we can talk of a tablet, we can talk of a mobile phone. So those devices, we are referring to them as ICT tools. As people need and use hammers, holes, conveyor belts, and bangers to produce, comma, process, and manufacture food, even in ICT, we similarly use tools for data capture, processing, information, storage, and communication. So we also have tools in ICT that we use to create that information, store that information, communicate to others. Therefore, ICT tools are not one solid thing. As I told you earlier, but rather a collection of several electronic tools. I cannot say that a phone is the only ICT tool that we have. If I talk of ICT, I cannot just give an example as a phone only. Or I cannot only talk about a computer. And I mean, when I'm meaning a, a ICT. So it is a collection of several electronic tools, but not just a single thing. We continue. Some best ICT tools we interact with in our day-to-day -day activities. So we are going to be identifying them. And we actually have number one. Who can tell us that? That one is actually a desktop computer set. We call it a set because it has all the components. The monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, the system unit, even have, is even having speakers. So it is a set. We have that one. You can tell us that. You have them already. And that is what we call a telephone handset. Some of you call them smartphones or mobile phones. Continue. We actually have a television. Then we have a, a radio. So we continue. So other ICTs we actually use in our day-to-day -day activities. We can have a laptop. We can have a tablet. We have these MP3 players. Use them to play music. Put your music there, then you play it the whole day. We also have our ebook readers. You have some electronic documents you want to read. You can use what we call the e-book readers. We have our mobile devices. For example, the phones. Then we have our projector. We use them in our day-to-day -day activities, mostly. We continue. Other common ICTs, for example, those ones we have not identified or we have not talked about, they are summarized in the table below. We can have the television, we can have the mobile phone, we can have the CD, stroke DVDs. CD input is the compact disc and DVD is the digital versatile disc. We have the radio, we have the cameras, we have the tablets. We have the computers, we have Wi-Fi, which is the wireless fidelity. We have the electronic book readers, those are the e-book readers. We have the printers, the internet. We have the interactive whiteboards. These ones are used in international schools. You can interact with them, control them using a remote. It is. We can have the scanners. We can have the flash drives, memory cards, and so many other tools that we have not included here. We 
continue. So what you're going to do for me is to identify these ones below. Many of them. We also have the game consoles. For example, many of you have PlayStations at home. The PS2, the PS3, PS4, then we have PS5. Then we also have what we call the PSP. We have the cameras, digital cameras. We have mobile phones and others. So you can also identify them from these diagrams. So we have an activity on common ICT tools. And they're telling us that in groups, identify the ICT tool provided by name and characteristics. Summarize your findings in the table below. That means that you're going to pick an ICT tool, you name it, then you give some of the characteristics it has. Another, that is the table that we are talking about. I gave you some of the example of how you can go about with this table. So you're actually going to name the ICT tool and you're going to be giving the characteristic it has. Let's begin with a computer. A computer uses electricity, so it becomes electrical. It is an electronic tool. So it has both hardware and software. Remember we say the hardware is the physical or tangible component of a computer. The mouse, the keyboard, anything that is tangible. Then the software are the programs that run on the hardware that we have. They tell the computer hardware what to do. Then a computer can store information either temporarily or permanently. Remember, it stores it temporarily when it's stored on what we call the random access memory or the RAM. RAM stores information for a short period of time on a computer. But it can be stored permanently if it is stored on a memory card, hard disk, flash disk. Even if power goes off, that information is going to be retained. We have component 2 or IC2. Tool two. We have a projector. It uses electricity, so it becomes an electronic tool. So it uses light for projection. You see that light coming out of the projector to be displayed on the wall to give you a clear image? Yeah, it uses light. It has adjustments for image sharpness. Whenever you project a picture on the wall, it is not all that visible, well visible. So you can adjust it to get a sharp image. It has a lens that it uses to display the light that you already see coming out of it. Then lastly, we have a camera. A camera has a lens and it uses light when taking out pictures. Then it has memory, either inbuilt or external. You can put a memory card there. So you're going to help me add on to these ones. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It's been Henry the Computer Guy. Bye-bye. I sign out.